Nigeria, the giant of Africa and home to the most innovative and strong-willed citizens on the planet. She gained her independence from British colonial rule on October 1, 1960, has a long history of military coups. Since its independence, Nigeria has experienced several coups that have had significant impacts on the country's political and economic development. And I'm here to give you all the information you need on all the coups we've experienced so far. January 15, 1966 coup. This was Nigerian first military coup led by a group of young military officers known as the January Boys. The coup was planned because according to the majors, the men at the end of affairs were running Nigeria aground with their corrupt ways. Ministers under them were living flamboyant lifestyles and looting public funds at the expense of ordinary citizens. It resulted in the overthrow of the government of Prime Minister Sir Ababa Katafawa Balewa and the death of several top government officials. It was led by Chukuma Kaduna Zogu and Emmanuel Ifajuna. It had a fatality rate of 22 people, including the Prime Minister of Nigeria, many senior politicians, many senior army officers, along with their wives and sentinels on protective duty. The coup plotters attacked the cities of Kaduna, Ibadan, and Lagos while also blockading the Niger and Benue River. The coup only lasted for two days, after which the general officer commanding the Nigeria army, Johnson Agui Ronson, was compared to take control of the government of the country and this puts Nigeria's democracy on hold. Some major Igbo officers who were part of the coup plotters perceived Iran's emergence as the country's head of state to be a conspiracy. Acting President Wafo Orizu made a nationwide broadcast after he had briefed President Namdi Azikiwe on the phone about the decision of the cabinet announcing the cabinet's voluntary decision to transfer power to the armed forces. Major General Johnson Agui Iranzi then made his own broadcast accepting the invitation on 17 January. Major General Ironsi established the Supreme Military Council in Lagos and effectively suspended the constitution. Six months into the coup, a counter coup took place on July 29, 1966. It was led by Northern officers who were opposed to the first coup. It was also called the rematch. The coup resulted in the death of Major General Johnson Agui Ronsi. The coup began as a mutiny at roughly midnight on 28 July 1966 and was a reaction to the killings of Northern politicians and officers by some soldiers on 15 January 1966. These were the reasons for the coup. The 15 January 1966 coup conspirators, mostly majors, had not been tried for treason and were being paid while in detention. Another reason was the passage of the unification decree and the rumors of an Igbo coup to eliminate the Northern soldiers. The next reason was the promotion of several Igbo majors to Lieutenant Colonel. Some people also said that General Agui Uronsi's ethnic favoritism toward Igbos. Lastly, there were also plans to swap the 1st and 4th battalions and plans to rotate the military governors of the different regions. The July 29, 1975 coup. This was another military coup led by General Motala Ramat Mohamed, who overthrew the government of General Yakubu Gowon. The coup was aimed at ending corruption and restoring democracy in Nigeria. It was a bloodless military coup which took place when a faction of junior armed forces officers overthrew General Yakubu Gowon. Colonel Joseph Namveh Gaba announced the coup in a broadcast on Radio Nigeria. At the time of the coup, Gowon was attending the 12th Organization of African Unity OAU Summit in Kampala, Uganda. The coup plotters appointed Brigadier Motola Mohamed as head of state and Brigadier Olusegun Obasanjo as his deputy. The coup was motivated by unhappiness 
of junior officers at the lack of progress Bowen had made in moving the country towards democratic rule. Why Gaba's role as an insider is credited with ensuring that the coup was bloodless, Mohamed, whose policies and decisiveness won him broad popular support, elevated him to the status of folk hero. February 13, 1976 coup. This was a failed coup attempt led by Lieutenant Colonel Bukasuka Dimka. This coup resulted in the death of General Motola Ramat Mohamed, who was the head of state at the time, when a faction of armed forces officers led by Lieutenant Colonel Bukasuka Dimka attempted to overthrow the government of General Motola Mohamed. Mohamed was assassinated in Lagos along with his aide de camp Lieutenant Akin Tude Akin Seinwa when his car was ambushed in Ikoi en route to the Dodan barracks by a group of soldiers led by Dimka. In a planned broadcast to the nation, Dimka had cited corruption, indecision, arrest and detention without trial, weakness on the part of Mohamed and Mala administration in general as the reasons for overthrowing the government. The coup attempt was crushed several hours later by government's truce. After a three-week manhunt, Dimka was arrested near Abakiliki in southeast Nigeria on 6 March 1976. Following a court martial, Dimka and another six co-conspirators were executed by firing squad on 15 May 1976. General Mohamed was succeeded by Lieutenant General Olushego Obasanjo as head of state. December 31, 1983 coup. This was a military coup led by Major General Mahmoud Buhari, who overthrew the government of President Shewu Shagari. The coup was aimed at restoring discipline, curbing corruption, and improving the economy. It was coordinated by key officers of the Nigerian military and led to ousting of the democratically elected government of President Shewu Shagari and the installation of Major General Muhammad Buhari as head of state. Tensions between the civilian and military aspects of Nigeria government were escalating. One major incident was when General Muhammad Buhari, the commanding officer of the 3rd Division, cut off fuel and food supplies into the neighboring Chad, an action caused by border disputes between Nigeria and Chad that was opposed by President Shewu Shagari, Colonel Tunde Obeha, who was taxed by the coup plotters to negotiate the peace surrender of President Shagari's brigade of guards army units. August 27, 1985 coup. This was another military coup that was led by General Ibrahim Baba Gida, who overthrew the government of Major General Mahmoud Buhari. The coup was aimed at restoring democracy and improving the economy. Mid level armed forces officers, led by Chief of Army Staff Major General Ibrahim Baba Gida, overthrew the government of Major General Mahmoud Buhari. Buhari was then detained in Benin City until 1988. Babangida justified the coup by saying that Buhari failed to deal with the country's economic problems by implementing Buharism and promised to rejuvenate the economy ravaged by decades of government mismanagement and corruption. Babangida then replaced the ruling Supreme Military Council SMC with the new Armed Forces Ruling Council AFROC, which lasted until 1993. The regime survived the coup attempt in 1986 and 1990. November 17, 1993 coup. The 1993 coup, the Etat, was a bloodless military coup headed by Defense Minister General Sani Abacha, forced Interim President Chief Enes Shoneka to resign. Shonika assumed the interim presidency on 28 August 1993, succeeding General Ibrahim Babangida as head of state in the aftermath of Babangida's annulment of the 12 June 1993 presidential election. In a nationwide broadcast following the coup, Abacha cited the stagnant nature of Shonika's government and its inability to manage the democratic process in the country as a cause of his resignation. In September 1994, Abacha issued a decree that placed his government above the jurisdiction of the courts, effectively giving him absolute power 
Another decree gave him the right to detain anyone for up to three months. Abacha stayed in power until his death on 8 June 1998 at the presidential complex Asu Villa in Abuja. He was succeeded by the chief of the defense staff, Major General Abdusalami Abubakar, as head of state. May 29, 1999 coup. This was the last military coup in Nigeria. It was led by General Abdusalami Abubakar, a Nigerian statesman and retired Nigerian army general who served as the de facto president of Nigeria from 1998 to 1999. He was also chief of defense staff between 1997 and 1998. He succeeded General Sani Abacha upon his death. During his leadership, Nigeria adopted a modified version of the 1979 constitution which provided for multi-party elections. He transferred power to President-elect Olusegun Obasanjo. Since then, Nigeria has remained a democratic country and military coups have been largely absent. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be seeing you guys next time.